Hello, welcome to the Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about using the stock market to help build wealth over time so we can all become self-made millionaires. In this video, we're going to take a look at a company called, and I think I'm going to pronounce it incorrectly, Pembin, Pembina Pipeline Corp. I'm just going to call it PBA for the rest of the video because that's their ticker symbol right down there, PBA. And we're going to use my monthly, or excuse me, we're going to use my dividend calculator to see here on the screen. And I built this myself in Excel. And we're going to pretend that we're investing every single month in PBA. We're going to take that regular monthly investment and we're going to reinvest the dividends that PBA pays. And we're going to see just how much money could PBA be paying as an annual dividend income over time. And just how much could all the shares be worth over time as well. We're going to take a look at that here in this video. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. All right. I want to point out that this calculator reinvests dividends automatically. So there's no way to turn that off just the way the calculator is built. Also, we are going to focus on the snapshot section for most of the video, but that section is fed from this side of the calculator where you get a year by year, month by month look at your investment all the way up to 45 years down the road. We are on the monthly dividend calculator because PBA does pay monthly. There is a quarterly version of the calculator, but we're not gonna use it for this video. Scrolling over here, we're gonna start off with $50 a month, work our way up to $4,000. You'll see all the numbers in between as well. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll let you know what I think a fair share price is for PBA and how I came up with that fair share price. Um, we got some inputs that I've already gone ahead and put in. The average dividend yield is 5.62%. The current annual dividend is $1.97. And the five-year compound annual growth rate is 6.55%. We're going to leave these two fields up here blank. The initial shares purchase and initial investment amount. That's if we already own shares in PBA, but we're going to pretend that we don't own any shares in PBA. We just started investing in them. So for that reason, I'm going to leave these fields blank. So $50 a month, this is where we start off with. Um, your total invested after five years, $3,000. It's just your monthly investment. This column here does not include reinvested dividends. Uh, you got 87 shares. Almost, we'll call it 88 shares. And a potential portfolio value worth just shy of $4,000 and collecting $222 a year in dividends. At a 7.42% yield on costs, not too bad. Granny, you are starting, we are starting at a 5.62% average yield on costs, or excuse me, average dividend yield, excuse me. Um, and very good, very good yield on cost here in these later years, well over 100% by year 40, and definitely, obviously, we're over 200% here at year 45, so definitely continuing that trend of well above 100. You have about $58,000 a year in dividends after 45 years, about 5,100 in dividends after 25 years. We'll bump this up here. Let's bump this up to 100 bucks. I don't see all the numbers is basically double. The yield on cost is going to stay the same throughout the video, but all these other numbers are going to change. You got about $10,000 a year in dividends after 25 years, nearly uh, about just over $181,000 a year in total portfolio of value. You're breaking the millionaire mark well before year 40, probably sometime year 39 ish, maybe 38. You break the $2 million. Uh, valuation mark here at year 45 potentially with $116,000 a year in annual dividends just with just $100 a month. Granted, it takes you 45 years to get there, but you could certainly that certainly could happen provided PBA's numbers stay this way. What if their what if their average dividend yield goes way down? What if their yield on cost goes way down? I'll show you what happens here. So say their yield on cost or not their yield on cost. I keep saying it. Their compound annual growth rate goes from 6.55%. Let's say it falls to 3%. Watch what it's going to do to the numbers, um, all these numbers right here. Boom, cuts them way down. You're over $116,000 a year in annual dividends of 45 years. Now you're at 35500 roughly. So the numbers that we see here, 6.55, the numbers that we see here are just, that's why I say they're just estimates because you can't really predict what's going to happen in the future because I'm using past, especially with the compound annual growth rate, this is past performance to help predict future performance. That's never a guarantee in that regard here. And the average dividend yield, that's, that's past performance as well. That's what the past dividend yields were, the average of them. And then the current annual dividend is just, just at the current. So um, nothing is obviously, you, we don't know the future numbers. So that's why this is really just an estimate. But if these numbers stay like this, then yes, you certainly could see Numbers, you know, these, you know, portfolio values in the well into six figures, possibly seven figures in the later years. Uh, very healthy annual dividend payouts. You certainly could, provided PBA is a well-managed company and remains a well-managed company too. That's another key. Very, very important. 
So let's bump this up to 200. Let's see, after 35 years, you're just shy of $70,000 a year in annual dividend income, well over 200,000 after 45 years. So not too bad at all. Let's, let's, go, a little, let's go a little harder here, we go 500. Feel free to pause this video at any point. Take a longer look at the numbers. You got 750, go 1,000. Now you gotta make this column wider because the number is too big now. You got over a million dollars a year in dividend income with a thousand bucks a year. 20, almost 20.1 million dollars in um, portfolio value potentially. Go 1,500. You know, 2,000. Nearly $2 million in portfolio value after 20 years. 107,000, we'll call it $108,000 a year in annual dividend income after 20 years. Go 2,500. And 3,000. Oops, hold on here. 3,500. Just over $4 million now at this point, annual dividend income, 45 years, but over $350,000 a year in dividends after 25 years. You're pushing the, I mean, let's see what it is at 4,000 real quick. 4,000, you're almost at a millionaire mark after 10 years. Pushing $2 million after 15 years, $108,000, almost $109,000 after 15 years in annual dividend income. So these numbers are certainly possible. However, remember, this growth rate is especially key. This growth rate, if, if it gets knocked down to 3%, the numbers are still incredible. However, they're not nearly as good as they were at 6.55%. So just something to think about. Remember, past performance is no guarantee of future performance. All right, so what is the fair share price for PBA? Jump over here. The current share price as of today, and today is May 2nd, 2022, is $37.59. I calculate a fair share price of $35.07, which puts them about 7% overvalued at this time. Now, how I came up with that is I got the average dividend yield of 5.62%. I just took, let me scroll over real quick. I just took... Uh, all these dividend yields right here, here's the dates, June 1st, 2017, I found out the, the, the current annual dividend, or the annual dividend on that date was $1.50. The closing share price on that date, 33.12, and I divided those two together to get 4.53%. That's what the dividend yield was on June 1st, 2017. I repeated that process for all these dates here, average these yields together to get 5.62%. And then from there, I took the current annual dividend per share, which is $1.97, divided that by the average dividend yield, and that's how I got $35.07. So that's by my estimation. Definitely do your own research. One, is PBA even a good fit for you? Do you like the risk that's involved with it? Do you think the, the dividend history is solid enough that they'll keep performing well later on in the future with their, in terms of their dividend payouts? So there's lots to analyze here. I just wanted to show you what the potential of PBA could be and uh, also what a fair share price is for them. So any questions, leave those down below for me in the comments. Any um, just a kind of general feedback on the channel, leave that down below for me in the comments as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, hit that like button, hit subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.